Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. This is Football Fanatic 27 here with a with an update. So I just woke up it this morning. I and I knew that the women's AFC Olympic qualifying tournament had their last group stage games. And it for for the teams like it, I'm sure we all knew Australia and Japan were going to go through. But then in group B, group B we had it South Korea and and North Korea. Now here's the thing. I I knew North Korea was gonna get to the next round, but this is what shocked me. They won the group, and in Group C, Japan won the group. But it said that Uzbekistan got second, so I went to the third place. Like when I looked down at the third place, who who was the best team? I was shocked, and I saw Uzbekistan was it the best third place team. Like South Korea had tied their last game, so. They needed to win that game. South Korea tied it. China won one, so they got third place out of, out out of the group. I mean, and then it came down to Philippines and Uzbekistan, and in the group standings that you see right now, Uzbekistan had the better goal difference. They they had the same amount of goals. That, well, not 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 goals. I mean, the same amount of points as the Philippines, but they had the better goal difference. I mean, if we look at their group stage games, like they literally. Did amazing, like they beat Vietnam, like I mean, and they only lost to Japan. Like it, it really wasn't bad. And they're, then, then their, their last game, they won. They won it against India, and that was what they needed. So in the final stages, like of, of the games that we have, we have that Uzbekistan will face off against Australia, and North Korea will be facing off against Japan. Like literally, the impossible is going on right now for Uzbekistan and North Korea, and I'm I'm so happy for. For these teams, like I mean, like it, like they're really the the women's it, the women's game is really taken off, and I'm really happy. And as we saw with the Rand, they only lost two zero and one zero, and they tied zero zero despite scoring no no goals. They they literally did amazing. Like I saw their highlights against Australia, and their team was on it. But looking at Uzbekistan, like it for their goals against India. Like, I mean, they literally, not one goal. Like, I mean, all the goals they scored were amazing. Like, they had one, like, I I still can't believe this. Like, it, they scored not one, not two, but three. But this, it, the goal difference had helped against them. And, I mean, looking at the goals b down below, this is just amazing. So, I mean, this is going to be one, like a do or die, really, in this moment for February 2024. So I mean I'm hoping we can see Uzbekistan in the next in the in the Olympics. I feel like it's going to be Australia, but I'm cheering for them. North Korea and Japan is going to be a tough one cuz I'd like to see both teams get in there. I feel like it's going to be Japan, but it's going to, I feel like this that's going to be the match to watch. But anyway, this is Football Fanatic 27 back with one more video and I hope you all had a great day. See ya.